So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing structures in C. In the previous video, we have discussed type defined structure, like how to use that type def keyword in structures, right? In this video, we will see what is structure padding because we are left with the two small topics in structure that is structure padding and structure packing. Many students, I guess, uh, didn't uh, know what is structure padding or they didn't even hear about this word structure padding and structure packing. But yeah, it's there in structures, right? These are small topics. And these sometimes interviewer ask these kind of questions. So in gate and net also you get these kind of questions, right? Based on structure padding. So we'll discuss everything about structure padding. What is uh, what is this structure padding? Why we need this, right? With examples, right? But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are preparing for gate examination or will be preparing for gate 2023 examination, then an academy is going to start a new batch from 8th of December. Arohan for GATE 2023. In this course, the top educators will be covering all the subjects of CS and IT that will help you to prepare in your GATE examination. So in this course, you will get a detailed explanation of all the concepts of all the subjects. And apart from these, some special classes like preparation strategy, some tips and tricks, shortcuts, practice questions, numericals. So these kind of classes would really be helpful for you guys. And they, they'll cover the scores in both Hindi and English and notes would be given to you in English only. Apart from this, doubt clearing sessions should also be conducted in this course. So if you have any doubt, you can get your all your doubt you know, cleared in those doubt clearing sessions. And this would be paid because you will get complete and structured course. But if you will use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% discount on your paid subscription. And one good point about these classes are what you can talk to your favorite educator in the live classes and you can clear your doubts. So I guess this is a must have subscription for those who want to clear gate 2023 examination with the with some good marks. So the relevant link and all the details I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out the link. So now let's see what is structure padding in C. First of all, we'll see one example like simple example I'm going to take. See, this is what I'm taking. I'm defining a structure ABC. I'm taking only two members, char A and int B, and I'm declaring a variable S. So if I ask what is the size of this, how much memory would be allocated to this member? Sorry, to this variable, not members. Once you declare the variable, then only memory would be allocated to these members. How much memory? Maybe simply you will say for one byte, one byte for char and four bytes for int. Let's suppose char is going to take one byte and int is going to take four bytes. Float also four bytes, doubles eight, double eight byte, long eight byte, like this. So one plus four, that is five byte. You will say five byte, but no, that is wrong. Why? How the memory would be allocated? Because of the alignment, the data alignment. See, how these members would be allocated some memory. See, here we have, Suppose this is a one byte for this address is 100 and 101. So this is one byte for this care. Maybe you will say next one, two, three, four. These four bytes would be for int and five bytes. No. Why so? Because see, memory is not byte addressable nowadays. It is word addressable. Now what does that mean? Word addressable means in one CPU cycle at one time the processor can fetch one complete word from the memory and what is this word how many bytes this word will have in 32 bit machine on 32 bit machine word size is 4 byte and if your machine your processor is 64 bit then word size is 8 byte means processor can access 4 byte at one time if it is 32 bit. If 64 bit, then processor can access 8 byte from the memory at one time. In one CPU cycle, you can access 8 byte, here you can access 4 byte, right? This is the case. And see, historically, processors, these were byte addressable, means processor at one time can access only one byte, then one byte, then one byte, then one byte, like this, right? But here problem is what, see, int is taking 4 byte, suppose this int is taking 4 byte, 1, 2, 3, 4, and if processor is byte addressable, then how many cycles, how many times the processor have to, you know, fetch the memory to read 
one integer value four times one by for this second third and fourth because integer it is taking four byte and processor can read only one byte at a time so four times you will you will require four cpu cycle it's like suppose you want to buy this shirt pant and you can say t-shirt and jeans but at one time you will go to the store and you will pick shirt only you will come to your home second time again you will go to the store pick only pant and you will come to your home then third time then fourth time obviously this would be hectic what if we will go only one time and we will pick all the four things shirt pant t-shirt and jeans at one time and come back to your home that is a good idea right that is same thing here what if the processor what if in in one cpu cycle only that processor can access all the four bytes yeah that is possible that is why memory you know is nowadays word addressable to increase the performance to increase the speed memory is nowadays word addressable right so at one time you can access these four bytes at one time only right only one cpu cycle would be required and you can access four bytes in 32 bit if 64 bit there you can access eight bytes at one in one cpu cycle only right so it depends on the you can say that architecture so now see here here i am assuming that word size is 4 byte i am assuming word size is 4 byte i am assuming word size is 4 byte means we can access 4 bytes at a time so now see suppose we have stored a here care a means value is some value is here and we have stored that value here if we store this int 1 2 3 4 these 4 bytes then see this is one word 4 bytes then 1 2 3 4 this would be another word this is one word this is second word you can say 4 bytes 4 bytes so now this integer would be 1 2 3 4 3 bytes would be this and 1 byte would be this so now if you want to access this integer value how many cpu cycle would be required two cpu cycle one cpu cycle in one cpu cycle you can access only these three bytes right and in another cpu cycle you will access this one byte obviously the cpu the processor will read this complete word but your information is only in this byte so after that it will read only this byte so two cpu cycles would be required means you can you can do this thing in one cpu cycle but here because of this storage you need two cpu cycle that is wastage of cpu cycle right that is going to decrease your performance right so now what you can do second method is you leave this space blank we are not going to store this int here and we will store this int in the, these four bytes here one character here leave the three bytes as it is and then in these four bytes we will store this int so now here how many cpu cycle would be required to fetch this int value only one because all four are in this location right so see many processor expect that the memory of these variables so these things would be aligned would be allocated according to the size of the variable see character is going to take one byte so you can store anywhere but int is going to take four byte so the address should start from the multiple of four like you can say one zero zero four one zero zero eight or like hundred is also fine one zero four is also fine something like this and here this address is one zero one so we cannot store int from one zero one it is not multiple of four so you can store from here one zero four that is multiple of four right so from here we can store int value fine so now this the, these extra bits these this is known as padding bits or you can say memory holes right or you can say alignment memory alignment data alignment this is what we are give we are align the data right 
just to increase the speed, just to increase the performance of your CPU, but at a penalty of memory, here wastage of some memory. But memory is nowadays getting cheaper and cheaper. So we can, yeah, we can afford some wastage of memory to increase the speed of the CPU. If you don't want to waste the memory, memory is also very critical for you, speed is not, then you can avoid this padding. But one thing, padding would be automatically done by the compiler, automatically done by the compiler. You will not do padding, compiler will automatically do this thing. But if you want to avoid padding, then you can do packing. You will have to include some special line in your program that is known, and, known as structure packing that we will discuss in next video. Right? But this padding would be done automatically by the compiler. So this is known as padding bits and this process of inserting some extra bits or extra, extra bytes or extra space between these variables just to align the data that process is known as structure padding in C. So whenever you are asked these type of questions like how much memory would be allocated in this case. So first question, your first question would, would be what? with structure padding or without structure padding or you can say with the data alignment or without data alignment with the data alignment means with the structure padding that is what obviously that is data alignment right and then its word size would be what your ne next question would be what is the word size 4 byte or 8 byte and how many byte this because sometimes on some compiler int is going to take it take 2 bytes and on some machine it takes 4 bytes. So your next question would be this also or maybe they will they'll give all the details in the question and you just have to find out the size, complete size that is it. If this is not given, if some interview is, interviewer is going to ask this question to you then you must ask these questions first of all to that inter to you know um, the interviewer. You just have to clear everything and then you calculate the size and then, then tell. If they ask you this type of question their motive is just to know if you have any idea about structure padding or structure packing because many students I am sure many students did not hear this word structure padding right. So this is very small concept and now see so how many bytes would be allocated to this now complete this 4 and this 4 8. So this 8 bytes would be allocated. So next, next example is suppose I am taking this example, I am just adding one more, char c. Now how many bytes would be allocated? With the data alignment or you can say with structure padding, right? So this would be the alignment here, c. One word, one word, one word. So now first is this, for this character a. Some value would be stored. Next is integer. So we are not going to store here. This would be blank and this would be stored here. This B value int. Right. Now next is character C. So that would be stored in this one byte. Right. But processor can access four byte. This is word addressable. So this complete would be in your account. It is not like that only one byte would be in your account. This complete four byte would be added to your account. Right. So, how many bytes would be allocated memory? 4, 4, 4. That is in this case 12 bytes. Right. But if you do something like this, I am writing char c here, not here. Now, how many bytes would be allocated? C. First is character. So, the same thing we are having. This is the memory alignment, right. So, this would be this first byte would be for C. Next is char A, right. Character is going to take only one byte, so it can you can store it anywhere, right. So, now here you can store this A, this one byte for this A. Next is int. So, we, we are not going to store int here, we will leave this two bytes as it is, and now int would be stored from here to here. So, how many bytes? How many bytes, uh, how many padding bytes would be there here? Only 2 bytes and total memory would be 4 and 4 that is 8 bytes. So maybe you are thinking in the previous case also we were having 2 char member and 1 int. Here also we are having 2 char and 1 int but see you have noticed the difference I guess. The memory allocation, the previous case 12 bytes, here 8 bytes only. See, see the nowadays processor are very smart, they can 
even handle these type of alignment, memory alignment. This problem comes when you are using RISC type of processor, they throw the exception when data is not aligned in the memory. But nowadays processor can handle the small al alignment, but sometimes you know in, in a very worse situation you use or maybe CPU have to use two or three CPU cycle to access some data because of the bad alignment. So it's the duty of programmer to take care of these things. So it's duty of you if you are writing, writing a program to write down these program in such a way that memory wastage would be less. So if one programmer is writing these members something like this only 8 bytes would be required. If you are new to programming and use you use something like this care C rather than here, here 12 bytes would be required. So now here wastage of 4 bytes. And suppose a large amount of data you are storing with structure we use generally what like to store uh, information of student or employees or these kind of things right and only three uh, members are there right and in every student like thousand students or more students are there for every student you are wasting four bytes. So if 5000 students or you can say 1 crore students or like uh, uh, you are storing information of Aadhaar card and there we are having this kind of thing. So there like you have to store information for 135 crore people. So how many bytes would be wasted you can imagine. So it's duty of programmer only just to write down these members in a proper way. So what should be the proper way? You should write down these members in increasing order of their memory size like here care c care care 1 byte then integer 4 bytes so increasing order it would be better to write it increasing order of their memory size right in that case memory would be you know properly utilized and less wasted you can say less wastage of memory would be there so i hope you got what is structure padding right and why we need structure padding and who does structure padding automatically it is done by the compiler why we need just to increase the speed of the or you can say the performance to reduce the wastage of number of CPU cycles right and what is this these extra bytes for you know you use to put between the these values just for the data alignment that are known as this process is known as structure padding. So you can try out different different these combinations or int float double every type of uh, you know uh, variables every type of member you can take here and you can see how memory would be allocated and how many bytes it is going to take right and one more question may arise like how many bytes would be added or how many padding bytes you you would add so that would be according to the this the largest element you have here int is the largest 4 byte so according to this extra bytes would be added. So I guess that's it for this video. If you have any doubt in this structure padding, you can ask me in comment box. So now next video, you will see what is structure packing. So now I'll see in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.